We're at the score, Parker 400, Marty Reed and Jerry Garrett, and this is the pit area adjacent to Shea Road, eight miles east of downtown Parker, and it's where the majority of the teams make their permanent pits for the race, and also one of the scariest places in off-road racing because it's completely open to the public. Watch out. It's here that the racers will start and finish two 100-mile laps in Arizona. Now, most of this is well-graded roads, and speeds up down through here should be appreciably faster than in California. They even go through a ghost town. And uh, as you can see, it winds its way through. And if you're wondering how the contestants get from the California side over to Arizona, well, the race vehicle is loaded onto the trailer and transported over to Arizona. Each entrant has two hours of mandatory downtime. And in that span, the teams can make whatever repairs are necessary. Now, most of the drivers are able to grab a bite to eat and relax a little bit while the mechanics freshen up the cars. And as you can see, that was Robbie Gordon's team taking their vehicle, and they are right now running in fifth in Class 8 as they head for Arizona. Now, what's happening here? Well, the Chevrolet of Jerry McDonald, who is in second in the four-wheel drive mini class, is under repairs. Let's talk to Jerry McDonald. Well, it went, it actually went pretty good. Uh, up on Thunder Alley, we, were, we had to run in fifth gear up there, and we happened to blow fifth gear. So all it left us was with third and fourth. And uh, so we brought it all the way in. We went from first back to second, but we're changing it now, and I think we'll be in real good shape on the Arizona side. The truck ran really, really well. It's just kind of going a little too fast, maybe. <laughs> Well, the 799 is the Simon Simon Ford Ranger, and we show the brothers leading the McDonald Chevrolet by just over four minutes. Now, Dave Simon drove the California Loop, and now it's going to be up to older brother Paul. It's his responsibility to take over the wheel here in Arizona. Well, we got the lead right now, and we want to hold the lead. Um, what it's going to take is just a lot of smooth driving and, and make the guys that are chasing us mess up and hurt their truck. Hopefully we can keep it together and win this thing. Well, here we are on the Arizona starting line, and that is Danny Lentner, one of the Class 2 vehicles. And, boy, the 61-year-old Lentner, Gary, doesn't look like he's uh, too uptight about the race. No, he's trying to stay loose here. He's got a good run going, and uh, he'd like to add his, let her name to the record books again. His son has won this race four times. Well, he is ready to restart, and Danny Linder, Henry Bergdahl, and the race co Porsche. And uh, ready and waiting behind them is Manny Ascara. We had a chance to talk with Manny. Well, so far, real smooth. We lost the hood uh, right just before Rice, but other than that, we haven't had a problem. Kind of taking it easy in Bateman to make sure we got on the call through the California side. This side's pretty fast. We're going to get with it over here and open up the gap if we can, just in case we do have a problem. Well, Manny Ascara leading in Class 7, and here we are out on the Arizona Loop. That is, again, Brian Collins in Class 2. Now, Marty, we show them running second in Class 2. They're about 20 seconds behind Lettner and Bergdahl, but remember, this is a timed event. We won't know exactly who the winner is until quite a few cars have finished. Stay with us. We'll be back with more of the Parker 400 right after this.